so I'm recording this while Storm Eunice is blasting outside the cave. So if you hear the wind, it's Eunice, not Spider Math. Okay, so I did these two circles. Now you notice that they are positioned uh, in a definite interocular manner. I've been looking at doing some animated eyes for projects. Now this Pimeroni, it's got this board here and there's quite a few of these sort of Adafruit style scary eye things. A lot of them need an SD card. This one needs needs a Raspberry Pi and two TFT displays. So I wanted to do something that you could use in projects in smaller scratch build stuff, but do stuff that was cheap to do. Now I'm going to use a Pi Pico for this, but I've also got the code working on an Arduino as well, which you can pick up cheaper. This OLED, they're not as cheap as they used to be. AliExpress, you can buy five of them for eight pounds if you're willing to wait for them to arrive. So quite a reasonable price. So maybe five pound for an Arduino and two pound ish for one of these. Maybe it's a lot cheaper than what you see on the screen, which had color things and SD cards and Raspberry Pis. And that's just the price of the hat, which is just this bit here. So let's have a go at doing this. Here's the iCode running. Um, I've drawn two circles. But I think what we'll do first is set up some constants here uh, for the eye positions. So let's put these in. So there's some constants. So VPOS is the vertical position of the circles on the screen. The I is the diameter of the I circle. A pupil is going to be the diameter of the pupil. A tick is just for timing. EXR and EXL are the I, X, left and right positions. And then a couple of constants for the colours. And we've only got white and black on that, but I've used it. Well, these aren't constants, but a variable for that to save writing every time. So if I take this circle code now, I should be able to put these directly into it. And that's what I've got below. So let's get rid of these for a second. And I'm hoping if I run that, it'll do the same thing. Yeah, so exactly the same there, so nothing to worry about. Now at the moment, this circle routine that we got off Tony to go, that turns uh, the OLED on as well and shows it after it's drawn the circle. I'm going to get rid of that so that it's not rebuilding the screen after each eye when I'm doing two. And also let's create something to draw the eyes. So we'll have some variables, various things to go in. I'll talk about those in a minute. Def, draw eyes, then I'll go pupil left horizontal. Pupil, pupil, right, horizontal, pupil, left, vertical. Let me put these two circles now into this routine. So something like that. So now let's start building it in, in here. So if I now do draw eyes and I'm going to just send in some zero values at the moment. Because if you notice, most of these are these constants up here to start with. In fact, all of them are. So if I do draw eyes and I need to do show as well. All right. So that's drawn the eyes again. So we're now drawing the eyes in the routine. So I only need to draw eyes once. So that's a start. Now let's do the pupils in the eyes. And I'm going to use these again, really. Uh, but this is where I'll use some of the values that we put into it from the top. So this is going to be EXR. So the I X right value and I'm going to do plus P L H and then vertical pass. I'm going to do plus P L V the vertical value. And this time it's going to be the pupil, which of course up here is five. So a smaller one in the middle and we'll set it to black. So this will draw a black circle in the middle of the white circle for the eye. Whoops. And I'll do the same for the left eye. But all right, so you notice now what I'm doing with these PLV is just an offset for the vertical position, which will move the pupils up and down. And then these two will move them left and right, depending on what the value I send into it. But it's just an offset that I send in. So now if I run this, I hope I get dead center pupils in the eyes. Now that's not often how eyes work. Eyes are slightly, pupils are slightly brought in. Adam Krugin does good at explaining that on his puppet eyes, the pupils he puts on. So I'm going to just bring them together slightly for the bit where the robot's actually looking at something. I'm just going to define each of these eye positions. Now I could do these inside the eye. I've got space in what I'm doing. I'm just going to have separate routines for each one of these. So let's say center draw first. So center draw. So if I call that, all I want to do is go draw eyes and then I'll do one comma minus one comma naught. 
whoops that's got to be draw eyes and now I'm going to get rid of that one and do center draw instead let's try that you should see the pupils go in slightly yeah it doesn't look that bad but they look a bit less beady like that so it's as if the robot or whatever we're using it is looking at something here you see it's a bit more realistic all right now what else can i do so i'm going to use the, the tick thing now so that center draw that actually draws it i'm going to have another routine called center which is what i use to bring the eyes back to the center and display them but before i do that i want to use this value up here that i've got of tick which I'm at, at the moment is set to one second diff display tick so whoops display display tick so this is going to do my oled show so it displays whatever's been drawn on the screen and then time sleep tick so whatever value i can spare tick that's the animation speed that this is going at let's do a left so if i just copy that left's gonna be and draw eyes and let's set that to minus three and minus three and here I'll do display tick so that means now when I call left it will write that to the screen and wait so now we should have a brief animation all right so slight animation there looking to the left now all I've got to do is repeat this for other values def up so up's going to be draw eyes and on this occasion I'm going to have them in the center still so I'll use what I use for center draw so one and minus one but I will decrease the virtual position there I should after left be able to do up and run that all right so there we go the pupils are animating so let's do them very quickly for the others so I'll do up let's do down while well, i've got that in the clip buffer so this time i'll change that to pos positive three then i can take the left and change that for a right see once we've got this it it's quite quickly to do right just change them both to positive well i don't even have to put positive do i just three three so now i can do left up right down and then it will put them in the center afterwards so let's just test that should go in round in a circle now. Lovely. So there we have an animated eyes to begin with. Obviously not that natural going round all the time, but you could now define various animations to go with that. So you could have an animation called roll eyes, which would do that. In fact, let's create one of these. So def roll eyes and that really is just that code there so if i now do roll eyes suppose in a proper roll eyes you don't look down at the end do you you just go back to center so i can define it like so uh, you see now we've got these movements in we can begin to set them up there we go so a roll eyes as well we might might be able to uh, change display tick so you could send a value in so that you could increase or lower the tick speed and divide it or multiply it but yeah that's uh, another way of doing it so now i've got that one animation i think i'm going to do several animations uh, that do something more natural so like look right would go to the right and then go back to the center so let's set those up again def look left and this is going to be left and center and in fact i haven't got a center yet so i'm going to take the let's take this up and this is this is why this was called center draw and i'm going to have another one called center which does the draw and then the pause so it's going to be center draw display tick so that will hold it in the center for one tick and then in this one i can change that to center get rid of that display tick and change that to center as well yeah so you see how i'm doing this so look left looks left then center so look right's going to be pretty much the same i did the standard movements and then the string of movements i've got this look or or another command in it so this is going to be roll look right and this has got to be right so i've now done a little loop to 
uh, trigger lots of different animations. So you see I'm just picking a random number each time through the loop. Well, I begin the loop by centering the eyes anyway, so that displays them. And then depending on the number I pick, I either look right, which will go off to the right and come back, or sometimes I just leave right. So if it's number nine, and it will just hold it there and won't come back until it's overwritten by the next one. So if I run this, we should begin to see a little animation happening. There we go, up, left. Well, that was a rolling of the eyes. And you can see if I change the tick, it would keep these going for a different speed if I wanted to do that. Got some other ideas as well, maybe having a, a blink routine in it or even a wink routine that winks uh, independent eyes. Uh, you could do that. But there we go. That's a idea about how to do cheap animated eyes for your projects. If you're doing a little robot maybe or a little person and you just want some eyes uh, for a very modest cost you could do it like this i'm using the teeny 2040 you could use a standard pie in this code and i've also got the code for the um i've also got the arduino code here as well which does something very similar which i wrote so if you want to do that on a arduino i can share that code as well it works in a very similar way and i've got some blink routines and a loading routine on that as well so i hope you enjoyed this little coding project in python maybe even a little bit of arduino which i've not shown you really but i uh, hope you enjoyed that hope you can implement this in your projects if you like this please subscribe and bye